So what you are seeing now is uh, just little clips of, you know, a stream that I did before I actually got on to the grind that you will be seeing. It's either before or a little bit after or somewhere in the middle. I forgot. It's been a while, but uh, yeah, I'm going to start streaming. Uh, there'll be more information at the end of the video, so stay by and, you know, if you want and listen to that. Uh, I do apologize for the video being so late. There has been some things that I, is just out of my control. I do have a full-time job. I have kids that I got to take care of. You know, it's just, it, it is what it is. And YouTube ain't bringing in the money right now. So, you know, it's more of a hobby than a job. And that's why I always see it as, to be honest with you. you know, but uh, the stream went well. I uh, talked to one or two of you guys and it was very fun for me we just chilled i uh, did some scaling just they taught me some things and you know that that's why i like i like you know the community so if you guys want to catch me streaming i do have the twitch link down in the description and i will have a schedule and all that soon so i do got i do hope you guys enjoy I'm sorry I'm starting I'm tired uh, please like comment subscribe on the video uh, turn the notification bell if you want on if you want and um, yeah I'll see you at the end of the video where I have more things to talk about because I'm a blabbermouth <laughs> enjoy hello everybody my name is Dark Zeno and welcome to another video of RuneScape 3 ultimate hardcore Iron Man let's get rid of that chat right there and uh yeah so a month has gone by and technically we're on the second day so we are going to go ahead and open this oyster and i'm going to show you how you can get a second oyster absolutely for free as you know you can only use one of these monthly dnd tokens once per month i'm pretty sure and we are going to go over here open it up and it looks like there's a buddy with us uh it's not that great but you know it is what it is and what we do is we pretty much just fill her up again. We gotta feed the oyster, so we gotta go over here, get some seaweed, go over there, get a, a cucumber, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just do this real quick. We do get some farming and fishing XP out of this. So yeah, and as you guys can see, I have done a lot of fishing, a lot of cooking, and I'm about ready to go on a tree hunt and get a whole bunch of trees to get some uh, planks and then turn those planks into wooden frames so that's going to be very fun and very interesting indeed because it's going to be a very long time and yeah so there's that come on usually it takes a while usually it doesn't usually it's pretty quick usually it takes a while usually it's just in between so we're just going to wait here for a little bit get this maybe there's a seed weed. Now it is great XP on both sides. As you see, I'm getting 311 and I was getting like four or something over here. Uh, it is really great XP, but it doesn't last long. I might get a fishing level here. I don't know if I'll get a fishing level. But I mean, like it's, it's pretty chill. So I have been neglecting to do uh, Big Chin Champa and the caches. Oh, I, I did get a level. That's nice. Only a few levels away from accessing the fishing guild. And we're almost halfway to um, our goal of being 72. And then I think the cooking's almost there. Yeah, we're 61% of the way there for all, you know, uh, getting the cooking level up to what we need, which is 70. So we're almost about two thirds of the way there. All right, so we got our you know stuff to feed the oyster so we go ahead and feed the oyster oysters closed we check the oyster 29 days so we use this giant oyster yes I'm sure check oyster and there you go you now have two oysters to open up per month and the good thing about this is you know you do get a whole bunch of stuff still I got some Zamrock arrows and you know a whole bunch of rune spikes and whatnot. You can go ahead 
and gather the materials once again to feed the oyster. And it, it won't, you know, say, oh, well, now you got to wait two months. No, it will still be 29 days. You got to wait for it. So there's a little thing to throw in to have you guys, you know, get a little extra oyster if you so wish. But unfortunately, it does use one d d token, and I'm pretty sure you can't use it, you know, the token again for another month. So it's what you want to really use it for, pretty much. Well, so I was thinking of what to exactly do, um, because I don't really know what to do, and it's been, you know, going on for a while now that I haven't really been playing RuneScape, uh, or I at least recording it. And um, yeah, so we're here at the Dragons, at Blue Dragons. We do not have it as a Slayer task or anything, but uh, we did do a few mini quests and got, you know, a lot of this done. But the main thing is pretty much, where is it, do, 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 right here. While in the wilderness, 30% damage reduction and 8% increased damage dealt to monsters. These go down really fast with uh, the 2H Warhammer. And um, so the thing is necromancy, okay? This quest has been being popped up every time I teleport the drainer. And... I decided you know what let's get it over with let's do it but before I do it I want to get uh, 75 in every single combat skill before then so that means range and uh, magic and of course all the attack defense and all that might even go to 80 depending on how I feel forgot to record the fireworks but there is level 65 and attack we got quite a ways to go. Man, I missed it, but I just got the 70 attack. I was scrambling around trying to get my recording back up, but there it is. There's 70 attack. We got uh, 130 combined levels and attack and strength as a requirement for while Guthic sleeps. All right. Uh, <clears throat> main thing to get out of this is uh, new equipment. So we got Necronium, uh, Barrows, Abyssal Whip that we can use, which is good. Blisterwood Pull Arm, uh, Blisterwood Sickles, uh, Superior Dragon Weaponry, which I don't really know how that works. The Corrupted Defender. So once I get to 65 strength, we can go for defenders, and that will be one of the defenders I am going to go after. I'm going to go after the whole collection and just complete that. But we can have new weaponry now, so there's that. And I am going to probably go to 75? Do I want to go to 75? Yes. I at least want 75 just so I can wield Sun Spear because when we do questing, that is something I'm going to uh, want to use right off the bat. So I'll probably get to maybe, you know what, I'll just let it go. I'm going to work on strength and defense now and I'll report back when uh, that's all done. But yes, yeah, as of now, i uh, just been collecting Blue Dragon Hide and before any of you guys say it, yes, I know. If I got the tome, then I can save, you know, all the bones and I can pick up the bones and the hide and this and that. And I don't have the level requirements for regular dragon bone drops. I have them for baby dragon bones, but that's it. And I've yet to go into the city of, um, as you can see, my necromancy is still at level one. Um, I think I'm going to work on that once we get to 70 and all of these combats. I think, though, for magic, I might go up a bit more. I might just reach that 81 mark. I'm not too sure, actually. Let, let's see what 70 gets me. Aram Staff, Ice Burst, Earth Wave. Uh... All right. Crystal weaponry. Blister wood. One orb. C 
corruption blast. All right, I think I can, yeah. So what I'll do is I will, or the Arduin teleport unlocked at the, oh. So what I, I will do is I will for sure go ahead and just go to 70 on all of them, which shouldn't take me too long. But for us to do this one for range, I will have to get my fletching level pretty damn high. I think, yeah, 70-ish. Yeah, 69, which I will just go ahead and go for 70. And that's why I also been, uh, actually this won't even work. So I got to do a lot of wood cutting and yeah. Thankfully, I did get to 50 so I can do maple short bows. And it won't take too long. Just have to keep going at it. But, yeah. So, that's going to be about two skills combined that I got to work on. Just to get my range up. Because I do want to do, uh, I want to smith the room bolts and all that. And I can't really fletch them until I get that level requirement. Which is kind of stupid. But, it is what it is. All right, this this clip has been way too long. I'm going to continue on with this, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, very soon. Let's go for defense, actually. So we just reached 65 defense, and what we can do is now we can equip an Elder Shield bow, sighted, of course, uh, Third Age stuff, Sacred Clay, which I never really messed with. I kind of want to mess around with that, do a little. You know, just see what like what that's about. Um, Royal Dragon Hide Armor and Protector's Ward, I guess, from Dungeoneering. Where do I get this? Do I get this from um, QBD? It might be. But yeah, we are still cooking strong. Uh, by cooking, I do mean cooking. There's been a few times I have almost died. Uh, so that's fun. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll continue. Oh, what do we have here? What is this? What? Okay. What is Add this item to a dragon claw dr dagger was it mace or scimitar to upgrade it. Well, that's interesting. How rare is that drop? Uh, let's see. Wilderness hilt. Oh, that's how you get the superior versions. Okay. Okay. I got it from Blue Drag. It's just a rare drop. It does not say statistically what it is, but it's a rare drop. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. You can buy it off the of GE for around probably 50k upwards of so, even though it says 43.9, you know. That's that's interesting. Okay, so any dragon based weaponry I can add it to, and it'll become a superior version. Ooh, making it a tier 70 instead of a tier 60. So, wouldn't that technically mean that if I can just get a dragon skin? Yeah. Yeah, if I can get a dragon skin, then that would actually be pretty nice. Your dragon skin is a booby. Uh, 
Okay. That's interesting. Okay. Yep. Yeah, well, I got a wilderness hill. I don't know why I'm attacking this dragon. Why not, I guess? But that's interesting. That's a rare drop. I wasn't paying attention. And I just lost the coin. <laughs> no. <laughs> I lost a get out of jail free card. I'm so stupid. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh. Oh my god. Well, there's that. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, how they must have dragon breath so much cuz like I looked away for a few seconds. Look back and I'm dead. I can't teleport out of here. That's just bullshit. Okay. But yeah, so that's interesting. And I forgot when I can get the next one. I think I gotta talk to you. Maybe a few. Hardcore mode. Uh. What? Hold on. Jar of divine light. I know I said this in the in a, blah, 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 the thingy. Oh, allows hardcore players to downgrade to Iron Man. Okay, well no. I want Lola Lola coin. Divine coin. Uh, so when when can I get the next one? The second is at the total level of 1600 total level. And it'll cost me 10 million coins. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We've come so far. I really don't want to throw away my hardcore status. So now at least I know like if if I'm going to do the dragons, I can't be like, ah, oh, man, I got to pay attention. I really got to pay attention. I can't believe I lost the coin, though. I looked away for like a few seconds. And the dragons burnt me. Oh, I think I was fighting just one. But I might have did it. No, the AoE's were on cooldown. I know that. But still, like... What the fuck, dude? That's insane. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. Did it show up in the... Okay, so since I was saved, it didn't show up in the in the chat anywhere. But it says you offer your divine coin. And that kind of, that worries me. Because, like, I was hoping that would be, like, my saving grace for, like, a boss battle or something. Like, when I was, you know, going to do Jad or Zuck at some point. Nope. It, 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 it's gone. It's, it's gone. So... Oh, what was this? Episode 5? And we've already lost the divine coin. Oh my gosh. No. Although, Hardcore Iron Man is fun. So, maybe I'll do another one. I don't know. But, time to get back to training. 
Um, at 67 defense, 60 strength, 70 attack, 60 range, and magic. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that happened. Oh, I can't believe that happened. I'm sorry, just give me a moment. <laughs> that was so fuck, dude. I look away for two seconds. Two seconds. I know I'm probably gonna be made fun of, but I was watching clips of Hollow Live uh, VTubers. That's that's what killed me. The uh, yeah, because if you watch, they do that breath fire attack, and you can usually hit up to like thirteen hundred. And for some god awful reason, okay, you can hit higher than thirteen hundred. For some god awful reason, I'm pretty sure what happened was either like that's what I did, like I attacked two at once on accident, like I did now, or what happened was um. Because for some reason, they do actually do it a few times. They will breathe fire every tick. So they'll breathe fire. I'll swing. They'll breathe fire again. And it, it, they'll do that like three to four times. And, you know, I don't have much HP. So that brings me down a lot. I don't have anti-fire because I don't think I have made it yet or I can make it yet. Can I make it yet? I think I can actually make it yet. I can't make it, right? Potions. I cannot make anti-fire. When is anti-fire? 85, I would assume. Okay, anti-fire 69, and I think 85 would be super anti-fire. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. So, that's what happened on that. So, that's interesting. I am so sorry, guys. I am so, so sorry. Well, at least you all know that um, a few things might happen. So I might lose my life in these scenarios. All right. The scenarios will be bossing, questing, or just straight up being a, a dummy. <laughs> And not paying attention. But I'm mainly concerned about the questing. Honestly. Because the bossing, I know what I can and can't do. But the questing, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of quests that I, I I've been scared on, and I was hoping to save that token for no bad. Cause um the quest where you have the Gilnor monster and all that that is actually the only quest that is worrisome to me all the other quests i don't really like i i i'm good i can do all that so that that's gonna worry me so much oh boy i can't believe i did that oh my god i got complacent there was no, there's nothing I could, I could have done. A lot of other stuff I could have done to prevent such a thing from happening. Oh my gosh. Well, now I'm back on to being extremely anxious. <sighs> All right, everybody, this is going to be it for today's video. Uh, we've gotten a few things done. I still don't have 70 in all my combat uh, skills, but we will be getting to that. Don't worry. Um, 
Oh, there's just, I'm tired. I want to get some sleep. And I figured get this video out as soon as I can. We're almost hitting the 30 minute mark. So might as well just get it out there. Uh, a few things to note is that uh, I have been trying to stream. So I did record a stream that I did uh, probably about a week ago or two at some point. I don't know. But I did record that and I'll put the, the VOD up. So you guys can go back and watch that whenever you want. It's uh, just pretty much just skill and chill. And I think that's what a lot of the streams are going to be for at least a little while is just skill and chill. Um, one thing to note is that uh, I will admit I did get complacent as I said before and I lost a free death pretty much so that was my fault my bad to reassure everybody who has been watching the videos and have been you know tuning back in and all that even when hardcore is done with uh, I lose all my lives I will still continue this account as a regular Iron Man. The goal is to get the Master Cape. That is the goal for this account. After that, I don't know what it's going to be, but you know, from the start all the way to that goal to get in the Master Cape, that's, I mean, there's a lot we can do. So I'm not going to go for a straightforward path. It's just, gonna have some fun with it another thing to know is that um, ah what 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 is another thing to know <laughs> another thing to know is that I, I will try to post a lot more um, videos the thing is it's just I just been thinking you know I want some entertainment with it and I think that's more coming from my aspect of things. I'm not that very entertaining of a person to listen to, I guess. So I will try to work on that. But for the most part, I will show, I will do videos of progress instead of just leaps forward. So you won't see me get 99 uh, by next video and all that. Like a lot of major YouTubers do, mainly part because I do have a life and a actual full-time job outside of YouTube. YouTube does not bring in any money, so it's not paying my bills. Plus, I got a uh, family to take care of, so there's that. Anyways, I do hope you have all enjoyed. I will be trying to post a lot more. I will get on a schedule. I will try to post a schedule, so just be patient with me. And, uh, yeah, uh, like, subscribe. Uh, comment down below if you guys got any questions or if you guys want me to try anything. I know I still have to go back to the giant mole and fight that. I, I think I got to kill it like two times. But just come up with some funny ideas. Or, you know, if you have any questions, again, just put it in the comments. I will be happy to answer. So, all right. Thank you all for watching. I do have, I do hope you have enjoyed. I need some sleep. Bye, scapers.